Luke and Kyle Abbott here. It is a dewy February day, and um, a f- uh, last Christmas, a friend of ours gave us a Greek cookbook. Show them the cookbook. And uh, being that it's rain, it just had a big rain, we were inspired to make a, a Greek appetizer. Mainly because the rain brings out the best of flavors and the best ingredients. These are the ones you want. We've got eight. We need 42 more. Oh yeah. Well, I think we've got about 60 to 70 here. I don't know. Kind of seems less, but when we counted it up, it's good. I think that's plenty. Oh yeah, we can just put it on top of the fridge. Now the person are inside, we're gonna put cornmeal in here, which they'll eat that. Nice. Let's see how our little tykes are doing. They've been eating for a few days now. Hello, munchkins. <laughs> now it's time to starve them. Or put them into hibernation. Dormancy. Dormancy. Or should I'll do this here? Uh, maybe not right here. I'm, I'm making some food. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, now, as I get deeper into picking it out here, it's starting to smell more and more like the, the baby ducks, you know, when we haven't changed their um, bedding. bedding. They've retreated into their shells and made a mucus covering. Just what we want yes. for some reason. Three, four, five, sixty-six, sixty-seven. Now we'll need to wake them up. Oh, don't worry, I got this one. So, you know, when we were kids and Papa would try to wake us up, he would say, you know, wake up, kids. You wake up, and we'd try to sleep. And then he would use the old trick of splashing water on us to wake us up. So we figured, well, to wake up snails, that's actually not what we figured. That's what we were told to do. So keep them from crawling out, and we need... It seems so cruel for some reason. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to think about it. Let's take our weights off. Oh, Nelly. They're waking up. So, now it's time to prepare all the ingredients. A generous quarter cup of olive oil. Shouldn't, shouldn't you heat the oil up first before putting in the onion? Um, thanks for letting me know. That's okay, they'll be good onions. <laughs> While that's going, I'm going to take these tomatoes and uh, skin them, which I've never done before. We used to have one of those skinning things, but I don't know where it went. Do you know where that went, Kyle? Um, I have an idea. What's that? In front of you. Oh! Well, this would have been handy a couple times when I was looking for it. Oh, that's... Oh, yes! Yes! Alright, this changes everything. Are you sure we're manning our onions? Oh, and the snail! Check this thing. Wow. Woo! I'd say they're dead. That's hot. I chill them out, but. Ow, ow. That's for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. 
this is where, where it would help to have a, a second someone to film. So, you know, we, we accept applications. Uh, you must have HD uh, film experience. And you can think like an avid. Yeah, you have to, yeah. Which most people probably wouldn't want to. Right. Dude. Half a cup of freshly collected mint. We tore out most of our mint because it's pretty invasive, but. I don't really like mint. Back to the kitchen. <laughs> and then we add to that ouzo, specially uh, purchased for this event at a gourmet liquor store complete with fine the finest brown paper bags available ooh they sound like candies okay and now these are gonna simmer for about 40 minutes cheers Clink. Wow. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if we're supposed to stir. That might have been a good idea. We were a little distracted with our Greek music, though. Well, we have conquered snails. Next up, the new dough.